Hello, today I'm going to talk about something which is slightly different to what I've normally talked about and things which I've done which are related to health. Yesterday I was uh, with a friend and he revealed to me that he'd been diagnosed for uh, stomach cancer and I said I'd have a look at some of the state of research uh, on the internet, he can't speak English and what I did was I obviously went to the PubMed website, the same as uh, everybody does to see if I could come up with some information and the information I came up with I thought that would be just as well actually to share it with other people as well so that others are warned. What I am looking at is the relationship between stomach cancer and fried food and in particular an interesting study which uh, has recently been published in January 2018 was taken in China it was taken from 2005 to 2000 uh, 2013 and it involved a very large group of people, some 82,367 in total, 46,425 were male and 35,942 were female. Uh, the people with an age between 40 and 69 of which the average was 53 and a half. So it's a really large study and uh, what the uh, the researchers were doing, they were looking at the lifestyle, what people were eating and things of this nature. Without going through the full amount of details of everything uh, that they they found, uh, because obviously we were looking a lot at uh, fried food uh, above all, uh, but what they did find was that the intake uh, of fried food is a risk factor for gastric cancer and precancerous lesions and therefore if one can reduce the amount of fried food it could help uh, prevent the occurrence of uh, these problems with, uh, within the body. Now uh, another thing which I looked at was the instance of cardiovascular risk uh, for people uh, eating fried food and this is something I think we all know that uh, fried food is bad for your heart but um, when I say we all know it, it seems to be more of a myth because the evidence in my opinion does not appear to be that strong. Now. I do appreciate, and this is one thing which is really important, is the oils which are being used. And there's clearly a major difference between hydrogenated oils and non-hydrogenated oils. And another thing which we have to bear in mind is obviously the, the burn point or the smoke point really, because that's when the uh, oils um, cease to be, shall we say, healthy and they're having molecular changes within them to make them somewhat more dangerous uh, for consumption. But on the basis of the evidence, uh, it would seem to me that it is not so uh, comparatively bad for the health. Nonetheless, the, um, based on this uh, Chinese study, it's pretty clear to me that uh, we shouldn't really uh, be eating too much fried food. And uh, based on the um, uh, information about uh, oils, if we are going to use them, either try and do it without you can buy special cookware for that that's what I do myself I, uh, if, I if I make a fried egg I don't actually fry it in oil or anything uh, or butter or, or lard or anything like that anymore I just sort of cook it on the, uh, um, the the stoneware and I think that may be one way of maintaining the taste the taste it which we're used to and which we want at the same time as reducing the risk I hope that uh, may have been of interest uh, to you and um, there will be links below to the abstract to the uh, studies which I have referred to in this short video.